O Lord, open my lips. And my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory, Glory be, be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord is risen indeed, alleluia. O come, let us worship him. O come, come let, let us sing to the Lord. Lord. Let, let us make a joyful joy noise to the rock of our salvation. salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth. The heights of the mountains are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hand formed the dry land. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Our reading today is from 1 Corinthians chapter 15. I tell you this, brothers, flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does the perishable inherit the imperishable. Behold, I tell you a mystery, we shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised imperishable, and we shall be changed. For this perishable body must put on the imperishable, and this mortal body must put on immortality. When the perishable puts on the imperishable, and the mortal puts on immortality, then shall come to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is your victory? O death, where is your sting? The sting of death is sin. The power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brothers, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. In many and various ways, God spoke to his people of old by the prophets. But now, in these last days, he has spoken to us by his Son. We continue uh, looking at the hymns of the church, especially the hymns of Easter. Today we talk about Awake My Heart with Gladness. This is a familiar Easter hymn, and it was written by a great Lutheran hymn writer, Paul Gerhardt, and it first appeared in uh, 1648. Paul Gerhardt's hymnody is one of the church's most important teachers. In his relatively small opus of hymn texts, the church has inherited a rich feast of theology. It is a feast that has helped her to better understand the Incarnation, the atonement, the resurrection, the bearing of crosses, and the glories that await the saints in the life to come. From Paul Hefter. Awake My Heart with Gladness is currently the only Gerhardt Easter hymn in English language hymnals. The keynote of the hymn is the victory, which the prophet Micah foretold. Your hand will be lifted up in triumph over your enemies, and all your foes will be destroyed. Micah 5. The victory of which the psalmist speaks, shouts of joy and victory resound in the tents of the righteous, Psalm 118. And the victory that St. Paul boldly and joyfully proclaims, death has been swallowed up in victory, and for which he joyously asserts, but thanks be to God, he gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Our preaching and hearing are blessed with the inclusion of the language and the imagery of this hymn in the Easter, in the Easter um, sermons, which flow from this hymn include Christ the victor, the joy of the resurrection, the defeat of Satan, the rod of death is shattered, and Jesus' cross is my crown. So we'll listen to a nice recording of Awake My Heart with Gladness this morning. There uh, seems to be some internet issues on our side, so if the stream is a little bit um, suffering, we will repost uh, the service afterward.
We praise you and acknowledge you, O God. This hymnic setting of the Te Deum bears a significant Stephen Starkey text and is set to Gustav Holst's tune, Thaxted. It appears for the first time in Lutheran Service Book. Mark Bender masterfully sets this liturgical text for SATB choir, congregation, and full orchestra. This piece may also be performed utilizing organ alone with voices.
Let us pray. Almighty God, grant that we who have celebrated the Lord's resurrection may by your grace confess in our life and conversation that Jesus is Lord and God, through the same Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord God, be with all health care servants, especially Amy, Chad, Chris, Darcy, and Dave, Deb, Eve, Laura, Laura, Heather, Jessica, Joan, Judy, Kaylee, Kevin, Kyle, Shelley, and Tim, who minister to the needs of your creatures, that blessed by you their tender care may serve to the healing of sickness and lead to a speedy return to health and strength. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, you have safely brought us to the beginning of this day. Defend us in the same with your mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run in any kind of danger, but that all our doings being ordered by your governance may be righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Taught by our Lord and trusting his promises, we are bold to pray. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be, be thy, thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.